Okay, so today we're going to be doing a DNA extraction from a banana. First of all, you're going to need a banana, some methylated spirits, some dishwashing detergent, a bit of water, and a glass or beaker. Okay, so once you open your banana, you're going to break off a little bit of it and put that inside the Ziploc bag. Making sure that you seal the Ziploc bag really well you want to start to squish the banana and make it into very fine mush. The reason that you want the mush is so that it breaks down the cell walls and that it separates it. By getting that mush, then you'll be able to later get the DNA out of it. You really just want to massage it almost just to break it into absolutely nothing. Once it's really mushy like this, you have to cut off one corner of the bag just like that and then you just squeeze that into a glass like that it doesn't look very nice but that's what you need to do so now you add a little bit of water to the to the banana just to make it a bit more liquid and then you stir it so it becomes a solution so now you can see it's quite a quite a paste almost and now we're going to add some detergent onto it because the detergent is going to break down the cell membrane wall, which is like a fat. Detergents are made to do that, so it just separates it and it just releases the DNA. Just put maybe two, three spoons in there and then stir it around a bit. So once you've had the banana inside, you just want to stir it around a little bit and just mix the detergent right in there. And it should look like this. It looks kind of gooey, but it's okay. It, it won't hurt you. Okay, so this part that we're going to do now is what's actually going to extract the DNA from the banana. But you have to be really careful because you don't want the methylated spirits to mix around too much. So you're going to pour the methylated spirits really carefully on it, just so it sits on top and it makes a layer of alcohol on top of the banana. So just like that. So you can see that the banana is thicker than the methylated spirits, so it just makes a different layer and it just sits on top. So you leave that for a few minutes and then we'll come back to it and there should be a little layer of DNA forming on top. All cells have a membrane on the outside which are made of lipids and proteins. When we're crushing the banana, we're actually breaking those cell walls and then we use the detergent to dissolve the inside of the cell into the solution which we then will pull the DNA from. Now, the methylated spirits is used because the DNA is soluble in water but it's not soluble in the methylated spirits. So when we pour that in there, it pulls the DNA out of the actual solution. And then when we leave it for a while, you get this gunk on top, and that is the actual DNA. It doesn't look like much right now, but if you looked at that with a microscope, it would look pretty amazing.